Africans even care about democracy? Do Africans want presidents for life? Do Africans only like their own ethnic group? Isn't bribery just an accepted way of life in Africa? Do Africans believe in equal rights for women? Until the 1990s, nobody really knew what Africans thought because nobody had made the effort to ask them. In Africa's young democracies, so-called experts, intellectuals, media and opinion leaders, and politicians could claim to speak for the people without any evidence to back up those claims. When it came to making policies that affected their lives, ordinary African citizens were voiceless. This is the void that Afrobarometer is designed to fill. Its purpose, let the people have a say. We started the Afrobarometer in 1999, and the question on our minds was, without an objective, scientifically proficient public opinion survey, how do you know what's on the minds of ordinary Africans? We realize that elites, politicians, academics, media pundits have cast their own personal views as though they are the views of the everyday African. We saw this as a problem and introduced the Afrobarometer as a way to properly and scientifically capture the views of ordinary Africans. So what are the views of ordinary Africans about democracy? 67% of Africans prefer democracy. 45% of Africans are not satisfied with the way democracy is working in their country. 75% of Africans want term limits for presidents. Réseau Afrobarometre a montré qu'en fait l'écrasante majorité donc euh, euh, des, des populations africaines non seulement comprend ce que c'est que la démocratie mais en fait a des exigences très claires par rapport au gouvernement, par rapport aux décideurs sur euh, la façon dont de, de conduire les choses. With financial support from international development agencies and foundations, the Afrobarometer survey grew from 12 countries in 1999 to 36 countries, covering all regions of Africa and representing three-fourths of the continent's population. Afrobarometer has grown into a pan-African network with overall management in Ghana, technical and management support partners in Ghana, Benin, Kenya, South Africa, and the United States, and national partner organizations throughout the continent. We've always, in addition, in each country where we've worked, identified a national partner to work in that country who takes the, the lead role in, in uh, implementing a survey and doing the analysis and releasing the results with support and backstopping from our core partners. So it's a very dispersed and diverse network. Our national partners include uh, university research institutes, uh, NGOs and civil society organizations, um, market research companies, a wide variety of organizations. In Afrobarometer, the credibility of our data is paramount. We start off by ensuring that every partner uses the same protocols. The next is drawing the sample. Of course, the sample is very important to the data we collect because that is how we get citizens to interview. The next is the questionnaire itself, and that is the instrument that we use in the field. Then we move on to training. We actually spend five days training them. Afrobarometer works to engage with key audiences and the news media to make sure that survey findings are used to inform policy debates. National partners disseminate results in each country, working closely with national stakeholders such as government, civil society activists, scholars and the news media. 
The network publishes global releases on high-impact issues across all countries. One of the things that the Afrobarometer does is part of uh, building capacity, but also ensuring that we have consistent standards maintained across the continent is to provide technical assistance. Afrobarometer also works hard to build capacity for survey research in Africa through summer schools, fellowships and mentoring, and trains journalists, activists, and politicians in how to access and use data. An online data analysis tool on the website allows visitors to do their own data analysis with just a few clicks on any question, any country, any survey round. I have since 2000 used the Afrobarometer datasets um, repeatedly throughout my career. We've used it in research for the Institute for Security Studies to provide empirical evidence um, to support policy-based recommendations to governments and other public institutions. Our governments actually uh, receive Afrobarometer data with positivity uh, and over the years when we started, of course, uh, they were not sure that uh, whether we are partisan or what, but we have now realized that we are non-partisan. So, what do Africans think? Afrobarometer intends to continue to ask them to scientifically collect and analyze their responses and to give voice to African citizens in the policy process. Without doubt, Afrobarometer represents the true voice of the people.